Mina, come down the Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Welcome to my extended introduction. Here I will ramble for several minutes about things that I will be doing on my channel and the way I see some things, some of the things I want to do, some of the things that I hope to do. So I would say bear with me, but you see in the title, extended. This is me rambling. I like to ramble. I like to talk for really long periods of times. Uh, that was great English, wasn't it? I love to just give a dissertation on the smallest little things. That's just kind of what I do. It's who I am. It's who I've always been. And if I'm going to be a preacher, that's great. I can talk in front of people for 20, 30 minutes, and I get paid to do it. I would like to do that one day. One day, I would love to go into ministry in more of a full-time aspect. Right now... I'm not doing anything like that. I'm kind of heading in that direction. I'm doing some things in my church ministerially and I'm loving every minute of it. It's good stuff. Getting to meet some really great people. Getting to hopefully change some lives. Hopefully change my life. Even though I'm a Christian, I'm a long way to go. So, this channel is my attempt to reach out to a much larger audience. It's an attempt for me to learn a little bit more about online culture, to get involved in online culture. It's a chance for me to meet um, a lot more new people, to get involved with a lot more things, to broaden the spectrum of the things that I know, video making, video editing. My equipment right now isn't horrendous. I've got some Sennheiser stereo, blah, 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 word, nah. Earphones, yay! I found English, I'm happy. These bad boys, um, very, very nice, very good, very accurate sound. Put these on right here. If I actually have a little bit of hair, it tends to make the hair in the back stick up. I'm pretty sure one of the videos I've made already has my hair like sticking up in the back. Look for it. It was amusing and horrifying when I realized what I was doing. So those are nice. Blue Yeti mic, pretty standard, pretty obvious. And... An HD webcam. I was thinking about just picking it up and like moving it around like, hey, here it is, but you couldn't actually see it, so that'd be kind of pointless. And the quality isn't the best. It's not really great, but I don't have like a ton of money, so I can't just like, oh, here's five grand. I'm going to get some nice new great camera. So it was recommended. All these things were recommended to me by a friend. Pretty solid, pretty good starting equipment for a YouTube channel. And hey, I'm a, I'm a beginning YouTube channel. I'm just opening up. Some small end stuff should be perfectly fine. I want to make quality better along the way, especially if the channel grows, which I hope it does. In the long term, I would love for this channel to be a success. I would love to have you know, some large channel, make this my livelihood. How that will tie into full-time ministry? I've noticed that YouTube doesn't really have a lot of dedicated Christian ministry, which surprises me. Christians love to get their little hands in everything. If you've paid attention to politics in the last few decades, actually the last few thousand years since the church existed. So I don't know why there isn't a dedicated um, channel on YouTube. I mean, you, you see, you can look up, you know, religious debates. You can look up like pastor sermons for their Sunday, um, for their Sunday sermon. But it's all backups, it's all pre-recorded stuff. It's not centered on YouTube. YouTube wasn't the place for it to be. It was just like, hey, here's a good place to store it for future reference. You know, we have something on iTunes, we have a podcast, we have a backup YouTube account. But nothing that focuses on YouTube particularly or in first place. This will be like my first, this is where I do ministry. This is what I'm focusing on. It's you guys that I am going to be ministering to. And having said that, this is not a backup for church. This isn't like, oh, hey, you know, forget church. Forget all those people. I'm going to watch on YouTube. No. Church is very, very important. You need to meet people in person. You need people that you can be personally accountable to, that you can actually talk to face-to-face, -to -face, not just some guy on a camera typing in random YouTube comments that this isn't all that you need. This is a great supplement. It's so great. It's like, it's a great supplement for you guys, but it's my primary ministry. Nonetheless, that really is how it is. So while I'm, I'm making this my primary ministry, 
for now, it can't be the primary place you guys receive ministry. This has to be a backup and a supplement. Also, this is a really great place, or I think it'll be a really great place. We'll find out as future, future um, tells the tale. I think it's going to be a really great place to get the gospel of Jesus Christ to people who have not heard of it. So anyone who's watching this, you're not a believer in Jesus, please stick around. I don't bite. Hard. Is that bad? That might have been a little bad. I don't care. Anyway, I don't hate people that are not Christians. I have non-Christian friends. You're actually going to see some of my Let's Plays with non-believers. And they'll say whatever the heck they want. And they're not pro-Jesus, but they're my friends. Because I care about them and I spend time with them. And that doesn't, well, some people say that makes me less of a Christian. I don't think it makes me less of a Christian. I think that's what Jesus did. He hung out with non-believers, and he didn't compromise who he was when he was with them. Well, I say, like me. Yeah, Jesus is like me. No, I try to be like Jesus. And I'm not perfect at it. I won't say that I don't let my defense down. I won't say, yeah, sin. I, there's not much of that in my life. No, I, I, I sin. I'm definitely... Still a sinner. No questions asked. I definitely still struggle in many areas in my life. But I do my best to not let anyone else's views like infringe on my faith. And yet at the same time, I try to remain open like maybe there's something I'm wrong about. Maybe there's something I haven't thought too deeply about. So it's like, yes, I believe in Jesus, but I'm not going to shut down someone because they don't believe the same way as me. I'm still open to listen. I'm still open to dialogue. I'm confident that I am right. In the years of study that I've done, the thinking that I've done, the studies that I've done, to the best of my knowledge, Jesus Christ is Lord. And so since he saved me and brought me out of the rut of what I was in back in the day, and I'm sure at some point I'll make a video about my testimony a little bit more in depth of who I am and what I've been through. And everyone's got a tale to tell, so here's my chance to tell mine. And share with all you guys. But yeah, um, I'm going to do my best to make sure that I stay open to other people's opinions, other people's point of views. I do have an opinion. I do have a point of view. But I'll say right now, and hopefully I'll stay true to this, I'm not always right. I can be corrected. I can be wrong. A lot of people who know me will be like, no, Brandon, you're never wrong because you'll never admit to it. That's not true. I am wrong. Every so often, it does happen. It's rare, but it does happen. So I am open to correction if need be. Also, something that you're gonna, uh, my basic setup, so to speak, for what I wanna do with my channel, it's going to be every day, two videos a day. One video gonna be video games. I love video games. Ever since I was in third grade, I got the Nintendo Entertainment System. Yes, I'm, I'm actually really, really, really freaking old. <laughs> um, I have been completely and thoroughly addicted. It has by far been my primary hobby. I love video games, mostly the old school games. I'm going to do my best to get a lot of those up on the channel. I'm not sure how YouTube and Nintendo flow. Um, I'm, I'm doing a lot of this just from, I'm just flying by the seat of my pants. Mark Senpai, that's Mark Applier and Weeaboo. He said in one of his live streams, you want to do YouTube, just go for it. He said, when I started, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. You just need to dive in and just go for it, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going for it. I'm just going to make it up as I go with all the fair use stuff going on in YouTube right now when I'm starting. I better have a few backup channels in mind or at least have their names in mind so when this one is taken down, I can make a new one because I'm not sure all of what I'm doing. I know Nintendo's not... um. They're really particular about how you post stuff on YouTube and like there's a contract you have to sign saying they get, you know, like 70%, you get 30%, something like that. You see, I'm starting now and I haven't even looked, looked all this stuff up. That's not a really great way to start. You should do your information and your research first, but life has been so busy and I'm not the best organizer of my time, so I don't really know. I'm going to do it anyway, doggone it. I'm already having fun just doing this silly extended introduction. I'm already having a good time. So I'm going to try. I'm going to put the Nintendo videos up. I'm definitely going to also hop in on some of the newer games. Like my very first series is going to be Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Love that series. It is so much fun. 
And I know a lot of people are like, Ugh, the game's crap, who cares? I like the games. I'm entertained by them. I enjoy playing them. They were actually my very first horror games that I ever played. That was my introduction to horror. Four nailed it. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Mwah. Like the perfect jump scare. Even now that I'm playing 20, 20, 20, 20 mode, I still, that thing still freaks me out. It still jumps me. I'm just like, ah! So, I'm a, I'm a big baby. I'm a big baby. Jump scares totally scare me. Eh, what, what can I do? I can get scared, and I can persist until I beat it. And that's what I'm going to do. So, I have a few videos already prepared, a few things I've done to try to prepare myself and be ready for this whole YouTube thing or whatever. So, I'm, I'm learning as I go. Please have mercy and grace on me. I'm saying that to the internet. <laughs> Good job, me. So, I'm going to do it anyway. And here I am. This is going to be fun. And, the, so, and also, not only video games every day, going to be um, not a full sermon, because I think a full sermon every day would be a little bit much for me. I don't think I could handle it. I'm more or less thinking like some two or three minute little, you know, Here's a quick thing from the Word of God to encourage you, to strengthen you, to make your day a little bit brighter, remind you that Jesus loves you. And so something quick and simple every day. And then I'm thinking once, maybe twice a week, depending on how it goes, definitely once a week, going to be doing like a full-fledged 20 to 30 minute sermon, like here's the topic, here's the text, study along with me. And once again, this is all a supplement to church. Don't use this as a replacement for church. And... To all the non-believers out there who may be watching, I've already said, you know, hey, you're welcome. You guys are totally welcome. In fact, as a Christian, I'm called to talk almost primarily to you guys, those of you who don't believe. I found something that changed my life, and I believe Jesus can change yours as well. And that's probably the primary reason I'm here. I want to do YouTube as a career. That'd be great. It's a dream. I may succeed. I may not as well. The channel may completely flop. But I really want to take this as an opportunity to reach out to those who have not heard the gospel of Jesus. Now, I know a lot of people have heard the name of Jesus. I'm not so sure everyone's heard, like, the actual gospel and understands, you know, their part in it. Yes, you have a part to play in the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why Christians are so buggy and want to, you know, tell you about Jesus all the time because he is personally involved in your life, whether you know it or not. That's what I believe, and I will elaborate on that. Um, in the sermons that I will speak from this day forward. If, and if you want to tune into one or the other, you know, there's not a moderator or anything. I'm not looking after your personal IP history. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not internet hacking or stalking. You do whatever you want. Um, watch just the video games. Watch just the ministry. Watch both and give me lots of views. However you want to do it, it's totally up to you. Hopefully you'll dig into a little bit of both. Hopefully, I won't be a giant irritant to you. And if I am, you know, watch some PewDiePie. Well, no, he irritates everybody. Um, watch Markiplier, although he's loud and obnoxious. Uh, uh, watch someone that you like, someone that's not irritating. By the way, Pood Senpai, Mark Senpai, Gomen Nasai, Daisuke Des. I basically just apologized and said I love them in Japanese. I said earlier, I'm a huge weeaboo. And a lot of the video games I'm playing, well, maybe not a lot. Definitely some are going to be from the Japanese doujin scene, um, particularly the Toho games. <sighs> oh, those games are so freaking hard. But they're so much fun, and I love the fandom, and I love the characters, particularly Flandre. She's amazing, and she kicks so much rear end, particularly mine, and it's awesome. I'm going to share all these moments with you guys for as long as I decide to do this. Don't plan on giving up anytime soon. Um, if I want to make this a career, and I just said I did, and I do mean it, it's probably going to be you know two or three years bare minimum. So I'm definitely doing this for for like preparing for the long haul. Part of the preparation got some videos and done in advance, and part of the preparation was mental and emotional. I'm in this for the long haul. I'm not going to stop doing this for a while. If something ridiculous happens in life. You know, I will say, hey, I'm sorry, something's come up. If I can go into detail, I will and say, hey, I cannot make YouTube videos right now because of blah, 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 blah. And I'll, you know, announce that. I'm not just going to, like, leave you guys in the dark unless something really horrendous happens that just needs immediate attention. I have no choice, like, you know, just some horrible 
car accident and I'm bedridden for months. God forbid that in Jesus' name. But you know, if something like that happens, then obviously I have no control over it. And I'll get in touch with you guys as soon as I can. But I am in this and committed for the long haul. This isn't something I'm taking lightly. I'm really going to try to do this. And what's really cool is that this is probably the first job that I've taken in life. Like ministry, well, that's a story for another day. I'm not in actual ministry yet, not getting paid for it anyway. This is the first job that I've taken that I've really, like, I'm, you know, I'm committed to it. I want to do it. I'm excited about it. YouTube is the very first thing that I've really been excited about. So this is, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm really excited to be doing this. First time I've been excited to do really anything. So I know I'm not going to get paid for it, at least not enough to live, maybe not anything, at least for a while. So, you know, I'm just, you know, I'll just keep doing the job I have on the side and keep that up and try to maintain the positive attitude. Remember that I'm working for the Lord, um, not unto men. Colossians uh, 3.23, pretty sure if I'm wrong, that would really suck. Especially if I'm saying, I'm going to be teaching the Word of God, and I got that reference wrong. The fact that I'm even unsure isn't good. Uh, hold on. Bible's right here. I'm curious now. Maybe I should edit all of that out. <laughs> That's not a great way of building confidence in people, is it? No, it's not, Brandon. You think? Yeah, pretty sure. I got it! I was exactly right. Colossians 3.23, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Boom! Got it! I can be trusted and I'm trustworthy. Yay! <laughs> so, I'm going to be doing two videos a day for as long as I do this YouTube. I'm, camera angles. Yeah, that's like, I'm doing two. You can't see the two. Yay! Victory. Hopefully, hopefully. So two videos a day, one, two, and one will be video games, one will be preaching. Sunday will be the day when I do like the extended full sermon. All the other days, I might do it. Again, I may do a second full sermon, depends. On, I'm gonna start with one, maybe move to two, we'll see how that goes. It's just gonna be like a two, three minute thing, real quick encouragement type deal. I told you I ramble, this is me, this is who I am. And I'm gonna I'm purposefully not gonna edit like a whole lot of this video, if any at all, because I want y'all to see who I am. I want y'all to get a feel of who I am, and this extended um intro is a whole part of that. So yeah. Um Dojin video games, Toho, the way I'm gonna preach. Oh yeah, this is important. This is going to throw a lot of people off, and I'm sure at some point I'll do a video giving the details. I'm not going to do this for the intro. But during the video game sessions, you will hear profanity of all kinds coming from my mouth, even though I proclaim to be a Christian, and I am. I don't believe it's a sin. I'm just going to leave it at that. During the preaching videos, I won't use cursing because I know probably a lot of Christians will latch on to those that will be important to them. A lot of Christians do have a problem with cursing. So I'll abstain from it for the preaching videos, and I'm going to cuss like a sailor in all my video game videos. And once again, I will address that in a future video. I have no doubt. Don't know if it'll be sooner or later. We'll see what happens. A lot of the first people that join this channel are just going to be people who know, who know me. They're my friends. They know who I am, and they're just going to get along. So depending on the timing and when the questioning comes, if the question... No, the questioning is definitely going to come. No, There's no if about it. I'm definitely going to get... What are you doing, man? Aren't you a Christian? So I'm definitely going to have to address that at some point. So that'll be another video, another video for another day. And I know that's a that's really weird to a lot of people. Even the non-Christians are like, that's not what Christians do, right? As you get to know me, as I release more videos about who I am, probably a lot of that's going to happen in the uh, preaching videos. You're going to find I'm not exactly the normal Christian. I'm not exactly, you know, towing some denominational line. Um, I'm my own man. I do my own study of the Word of God and the history to determine what I believe to be true. And if I don't believe it to be true, I'm not going to practice it. And I think the church, 
not only have they missed it with cursing, I think the church has missed it on a lot of points. And in time, stick with me, I will tell you where I think the church missed it. I'll tell you my point of view. If you continue to watch my videos, I'm assuming you want to hear my point of view. And I believe that is everything. I have no idea. How long have I been rambling? I have no idea. Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, good gosh. Holy smoke. I told you it would be extended, and I told you I ramble. Now, I think it's the third time I've said that in this video. So that is the extended intro. That's kind of what I plan on doing. Um, so yeah. Oh, and last minute, real quick. All my videos will have ads, and I will do a Patreon um, at, as soon as I learn how to do it. Again, interested in doing this for a living. I'm kind of looking at this as a ministry thing, as a personal business thing as well. I do need money to eat. I do need money to live. So yeah, I've got to conduct it to some degree as a business. And I know that that puts a bad taste in a lot of y'all's mouths as far as, you know, the church being a business. Hey, at the very least, try to look at it this way. At the very least, I'm coming at you from the very beginning saying, hey, I'm going to be approaching this from a bit of a business standpoint. If I want to do it as a job, if I want to do it as a living, I'm going to have to look at it from a business standpoint. Money's not something that we can just like, oh, who cares, that's, that's not important. No, it's pretty darn important if you want to eat and have a home and have internet. Oh, internet. Oh, I'm such a geek. So that, that should wrap everything up. I love you guys very much. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to hit that like button. Or if you think this whole thing sucks, I'm surprised if you watch the whole thing, if you think it sucks. But if you did... Hit that dislike button. I have no problem with anyone hitting the dislike button. If you don't like it, let me know. I mean, I care, but at least you can voice your opinion. <laughs> now, I still don't even know what my outro exactly is going to be yet. So many of my videos up to this point, I have no idea what my outro is. I don't have any established thing like that. I, I regularly have an intro. I don't regularly have an outro. I just kind of go all over the place and say whatever it is. That I'm thinking. I try to like, okay, subscribe, share, like, dislike. Thank you. But there is one part of my outro that I do have down pat. And some that I plan on ending every video with. I love you guys. God bless. With or without the two-finger salute. I'm not sure how that's going to go yet. <laughs> love you guys. God bless.